Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, follow the foot plan for the Nintendo Game Boy, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now of course this is one of many 2013 Christmas special games that were chosen, and just since I decided to be really good with you guys, I did all, gonna do all three TMNT Game Boy Trilogy games, because they're all pretty short. The thing that's unique about this game is you can actually select whatever stage you want. I don't know if it's the same as the regular cartridge, but you can actually change the controls. I prefer A to jump and B to attack because anything opposite that is just plain weird. Now which turtle am I going to choose as first because you get to play as all four of them. So I'm going to play as Raphael first. Now remember, like B is attack and these Foot Clan members die in one hit, which is pretty good jump with A, of course, and if you're holding down and attacking, you get to use a ninja star instead. And you do have an unlimited amount of them, by the way. However, you can't really just fire the ninja stars while you're actually holding down and then hitting the jump button. So you come across these enemies as well, you can actually cut them off with a jump kick if you want to. Yeah, you die now. You too. Damn it, that was bad. <laughs> you can actually fire your ninja stars right behind the barrels as well. So that makes it so easy to dispatch enemies. I think this stage only ha this game only has like five stages, because that's what you saw there on the stage select. Which popped up on default, by the way. I did not enter any codes to get the stage select. So I jump in the clouds and all of a sudden I'm in the sewer. Seems legit, turtles. Luckily, the water does not hurt you, because you're used to the sewers. Apparently, the Mausers in this game are actually pretty huge. There we go. I always picture the Mauser as being a little bit smaller. And just biting at your, uh, fingers and stuff. Just watch out for those balls there, and there's bats. Yep, you gotta kill those too, because I hate them. Ooh, I almost took damage as soon as I grabbed the pizza. I think my ninja star went right through the bat. Like, and kept going even after I fired it. Yep, your ninja stars actually go past the enemy it hits. So if I want to kill multiple enemies, that's one way to do it. Okay, now we're back here again. Okay, this part can be tricky because you have to time your jumps just right for those motorcycle enemies. And you can't hurt them either. You can only dodge. This is not a long stage, but you often get slowed down by constantly having to defend your flank at all times. No sense for me to grab that pizza, but I'm already at full health, and I was! Like, you have to switch sides fast. Seriously. Of course, you have to switch more sides than the flakiest politician, let me tell ya. Oh, oh, oh! There. What the hell is clan members going to, anyway? Is there a bike rally that I'm missing? And now we're back in the sewer again, even though I leaped right in the air. This game... I don't understand how that makes sense. I think it's only certain enemies that drop pizza, or you have to kill a set amount to get it. I'm pretty sure it's just predetermined enemies. Like that, for instance. And you can destroy the bricks, too. They actually give you more points than the enemies do. I never understood why that was. Oh, you thought you could get me, didn't you, foot soldier? Ow, ow, ow! No, that one did. I think it was the Mauser that did damage, though. There, get them on both sides, or on the same side. It's a lot easier to attack them. Like, every time they jump, they have to have their arms in the air like they just don't care. 
No reason to care, you're gonna die in a few seconds anyway. Or less than that, depending on where you're to. Oh yeah, you can go right, but you can't go back left. Okay, I think I should be at the boss now. Rock steady. Okay, you can do damage with your physical blows. And he does like to shoot you. Well, if you have a gun, you would shoot people too, wouldn't ya? Or do you have actual respect, you know what I mean? There, very easy boss. Thousand points? And extra points for how much health you have. The enemy must be near! April is screaming! I had to write this in the sharpest italic text ever! Ah, sure, I'll play as Donatello. Okay, I, th I don't know if his range is any better, though. It could be pretty much the same. Now, be careful here, because sometimes these pillars, they can go up or down, depending on where they're to, could crush you. When we get crushed, you take a substantial amount of damage. If not, die. So, don't take your chances with them. Just be extra cautious and take your time. The music in this game is pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie. It's always the little things that make these turtle games enjoyable. Like, it's so gratifying to kill, like, multiple enemies within a few seconds and do it over and over. Reminds me of another game that I'm doing. <laughs> This is side-scrolling. Oh! Okay, that was bad. I deserve that hit. Did not manage my flank carefully. I think in real life, I only played the uh, second Game Boy game. I'm not 100% sure about this one. And I managed to play through it all the way. I was able to beat it, but it took, like, several tries. And playing on an actual Game Boy was very cumbersome, because you had to replace the batteries. At least it wasn't on the Game Gear. You constantly had to replace the batteries. It was so damn arduous to play on a Game Gear. Not to mention it was so bulky. I mean, yeah, it had color, but still. You can be the Game Boy, not have much color and still be very enjoyable. That's why I had a Game Boy and not a Game Gear. Besides, I'm a Nintendo fan through and through. There, you die now. Okay, I just got Mario'd. Okay, I think I should play it cool. And why are there flame demons here? Great. So now the turtle's got to exercise demons from hell. Floating pizza boxes that have whole pizzas, by the way. Yeah, nothing could go wrong if you eat floating pizza. It's not going to have any side effects. And apparently your bow staff made out of wood can destroy demons without catching fire. I did not know there was a pit there. I didn't even know where the next platform was, so that was a blind jump. And you can't just hold down to, like, a uh, look down or anything. That's not in this game. If there's only a Game Boy game, they didn't really take the uh, gamer's opinion to heart. They just kept it as simple as it gets. But that's not a bad thing. Just keep it as simple as it is. Back when games were really challenging. Nowadays, they just hold your hand too much. Oh, hey, Bebop, what's up? Okay, he's got sonic booms. Every time you hit him, he just flinches. Okay, one more hit should get him. One more hit should get me. Oh, that was so close. I almost had to do the Konami code to get back full energy. Yes, I'll actually show off the Konami code, but I'm only going to do it once. 
Don't think I'm gonna do this every time I'm in danger. Oh no! They escaped by car! We're so happy! And the other ones don't have mouths at all. How are they gonna eat pizza? Sure, I'll be Leonardo. Oh yeah, this is pretty safe. In this game, it looked like Leonardo was just holding a giant steak knife, really. Not a sword. So now we're pretty much on the highway. I love how we were just like walking on moving vehicles. Just so calmly. Oh, I deflected it. Good. That's legs of steel. We don't wear shoes, you know. They're turtles. The closest they wear to clothes are belts and bandanas. You know, for the face. Oh, I might want to get that. And pizza, they don't clean up after themselves. They wear that on their face, too. I don't even see how they still manage to keep so fit if all they eat is pizza. I mean, you can have pizza for breakfast and it'll be have enough energy to start your day depending on what you put on it. Have a veggie pizza or anything Hawaiian, you got a good, a good start to your energetic meal. If you're having bacon and pepperoni and sausage and you're just gonna be bogged down. I mean, pizza is good. You can have eggs on it if you wanted. Have eggs, maybe a little bit of bacon, put some croutons on it, like toast, things like that. Get a nice bit of a crunch. Okay, Baxter Stockman. He's actually a pretty easy boss, too. Remember when you hit an enemy, you can actually go right through their bodies whenever they're flashing? So I pretty much don't even need to jump except for dodging that shot. So I can just keep repeating this, ad infinitum, and I'll win. Just take advantage of the boss's invincibility frames, and you're gonna win. Because they won't hurt you if they do. There! Just like that! All right, 11,930 points for three stages. Here's the river! Let's chase them! Okay, let, let's go to the river then. Uh, who have I not played as yet? Ah, Michelangelo. Okay, the water level that has no water physics. Oh, shit, I should've just stayed on the log. Who the hell is littering, anyway? Stop throwing random bowling balls in the river. Store them in the closet. These must be disgruntled wives throwing their husbands' bowling balls away so they can spend more time with them. Not only do they... And they're just dumb enough to realize that if you do that, the husband's probably gonna come home and kill them and the kids and then themselves. Broken families, everyone! All over bowling balls in the river. With man-eating piranhas and foot clan that, for some reason, can move around just fine. You don't have to worry about oxygen or anything, or your pizza getting wet. Apparently, you can eat pizza underwater. Your jumping is not changed at all when you're underwater, so there's no underwater physics. Even though the game likes to play that you're underwater by giving you those little air bubbles around your mouth. I've taken a nice bit of damage here. I don't like that. Because the enemies are just so constant. As, as well as the balls, and then you got the boulders, and then you got the fish. And then the slopes are constantly changing. That doesn't help either. Man, these demon cheap cheeps just won't stop. I wish this game had a better tell as to what enemies actually have the pizza. Like, to give them a different color or make them flash. Then I would clearly have a good, better... Ah, jeez. Have a better understanding as to what enemies I need to kill to survive. And now I'm in a cave. 
I don't know what that floating thing is supposed to be. Does it shoot me or does it try to collide? Oh, that Mauser actually saved my life. I forgot you can't destroy those. What are these things supposed to be? Like giant rocks? They don't even look like rocks. They look like vinyl discs. Discs? Did I say vinyl dicks? Because that's not what I meant to say at all. Can I get pizza on this? No. It's not like Castlevania. Even though Konami had some involvement in this game, too. Do you think they should have put, like, pizza inside rock? It's not like they haven't done it before in other games. Well, not pizza, but other meats that have protein. Well, all meats have protein. Name one meat that doesn't. You wouldn't be able to. Maybe fake meat. Okay, I would like to have some pizza now. Seriously? I've killed so many enemies and they haven't dropped anything. Do I have to wait for another Mauser to pop up from the ground? I think the next boss is Shredder. Oh, good. You just saved my life. Alright, we're at the boss. Oh, it is Shredder. Okay, he likes to teleport. And usually he swings a sword whenever you get too close. It's kind of hard to hit him because you have to time it just right. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't even have to hit start. Yeah, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. He, his attack does, like, two damage to you. Kind of hard to hit, though. I think you have to pretty much just be standing in order for him to use the sword at all. And then just hit him before he warps. So I kind of cheesed that victory by showing the Konami code at least once, but... Eh, whatever. Let's hurry! Here is the Technodrome! That text is kind of hard to read. Um, uh, might as well be Leonardo. He is the leader. We made it to the Technodrome, everybody. I might actually finish this Let's Play in a single video. Ah, damn, Roadkill Rodneys. They take like two hits to destroy. Ah, damn, electricity. Okay, I'm being flanked everywhere. And these missiles, they have very weird mechanics. Perfect. I think I can watch, walk right past all that. But I'm just worried about enemies distracting me. This is not an easy level at all. Luckily, it's easy to telegraph when the roadkill Rodneys are going to attack you. It's usually as soon as they land. Can you guys drop pizza for me? No, why would you have pizza? Then again, why would that Mauser in World 4 have a pizza? They don't even eat! They chew on turtles, yes! But not because they're hungry! But because it's in their AI! Now these things are on the ground. They can't fire those electric ropes at ya, or electric cables, while they're in the air, though. So that's our weakness. Okay, we should be close to the boss. I don't know who the boss is. Is it Shredder or Crane? Well, it had to be Super Shredder, because we already beat the regular Shredder. Oh, jeez. You can't destroy those. You have to jump over them. You 
You know, when you get to the final boss, they just give you, like, a full pizza. Jesse, oh, that thing is back. It's probably gonna keep going back and forth. How many of these things are there? Oh, God, that's a tall one. Had to use a jump pretty quickly for that. Man, think of all the enemies I've killed in this game. Oh, jeez. Yep, I took damage from that Foot Clan member. Oh, pizza! Ah, uh, it's only a slice. First world problems. One of the pizza gets a slice. Or more like a once a pepperoni pizza, salami. That's a real first world problem right there. They're cured meats, okay? Learn to deal. Then again, if you ask for pepperoni, they give you salami, then that's pretty much the one who made the pizza's fault. It's almost as taste the same, really. Maybe subtle differences, but still. Oh, that's a full pizza. That means we're pretty much at the final boss. Oh, it's Krang! Okay, whenever it stops, it likes to kick you. Well, that's an easy attack to dodge! Well, maybe the d jump and kick, not so much. But it's so easy to telegraph when it's gonna do it! Oh, look! I win! This can't be it. This cannot be it. Like, when he goes to the edge of the screen, he's gonna do a jump kick. You have to be on the other side to dodge him. I'm pretty sure he's not trying to untie the rope. We are here to save April. You saved me. Thank you, turtles. You know, you don't have to grow my boobs to untie the ropes. You can just do it from the back. Look, we win. That boss was way too easy. So, yep, that's it. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for the Nintendo Game Boy. Freak the Foots, Mangle the Mousers, and Total the Technodrome. That's... Turtle Power! Exclamation point, exclamation point. But... What about the Shredder and Krang? What about them? You beat them to a few seconds. Turn to toast? Vaporize to milkshake? Or vaporize to vapor would have made more sense. Or escape to Dimension X. Until we know none of us can sleep safely in our beds. Er, shells. That sounded like a lame pun. But yep, we managed to defeat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan in one video. Without losing a single turtle. Can you believe that? Now you see why I picked all three games for my Christmas special rather than just one. Because it would have been disappointing to have it all end right there. Okay, Raphael and Leonardo don't approve of this video, apparently. So that's it. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for the Nintendo Game Boy. How would I rate this game? Well, it's simple, but it's one of those games that you can just enjoy. If you take great satisfaction in just beating things up. But then again, if you really want to beat things up, Turtles in Time or Hyperstone Heist, which is the Genesis version, even though they're different games, will be much more suited to your alley as well. So anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Now, before I go, there actually is a mini game, well, a few mini games that we can show off here. D I'm crying. Hey, 
Top score, 21,910. Okay, so basically what you do here, you hold B, A, and select. And you go to here. So, you got some bonus games to play, so why don't I show them off? Ten chances to find secret no secret no uh is it 69 let's find out sure smaller oh it's smaller than 69 45 okay let's try two. Oh wait, it's smaller than the secret number. I'm I'm going the opposite. Five hundred. Oh, it's bigger than five hundred. Uh, seven, seven, seven. Okay, so it's somewhere between five hundred and seven, seven, seven. Six fifty. It gets bigger than that. Five fifty? No, five seventy-two. Okay, bigger than that. All right. Okay. Let's try 525. Up oh, somewhere between 572 and 525. 541. Oh dear, I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Last chance. 555. You lost. And they don't even tell you what the number was. Oh, you have to do this at each time, apparently. Alright, let's try number two. Power up. Leave one remaining. Uh, okay. Hmm, okay, I, I see what this is. You had to remove so many ninja stars at a time. Leave one remaining? Well, that seems simple enough. Oh, Krang has to leave one remaining. Ugh. I did it the opposite. So I thought I would go next, and then I'd have one remaining, and I beat him. Hit six tar. Gets regain power. Hit six targets. Well, this one is easy. Perfect bonus. Finally, one I did great at. Were you supposed to find these bonus games in the levels? Because I never found them. But anyways, that's all I need to show you about this game. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.